Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our Windows 11 version 22H2 and version 23H2. December security updates rolling out, which will be downloaded and installed automatically. And once your device has been restarted, if we head over to update history, this month's Patch Tuesday security update is KB5033375 for both versions of Windows 11. And the OS build after the update has been applied, if we just head over to WinVer quickly, and we just type in that, which will take us to the About Windows menu. Once this update has been installed for Windows 11 version 23H2, the OS build is now bumped up to version 22631. 0.2861 and if you are running version 22H2 the point release stays exactly the same the bold just gets bumped up to and will remain on 22621.2861 now the patch Tuesday updates um, they do roll out on the second Tuesday of the month address security issues for Windows and for Windows 11 23H2 and 22H2, there are 18 vulnerabilities that have been addressed. Three are critical. And this is very similar to what we saw over on Windows 10, as I posted earlier today. And the three critical vulnerability, vulnerabilities, which, by the way, critical is your highest ranked vulnerability. Those criticals are all remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means that um, the hackers attackers and so on can get access as an example through a network or the internet to your system and these are important security updates because over and above addressing three critical vulnerabilities there's also an update that fixes one zero day vulnerability that is affecting devices with amd processors so if you have an amd processor in and on your device then um, just double check you have this update sooner than later because it is a zero day vulnerability and um, a zero day means that vulnerability is active out there happening and it's already been exploited in the wild so um, that zero day has uh, been patched with according to Microsoft with this update so we get 18 vulnerabilities addressed three critical and that one zero day that's already been exploited in the wild so nonetheless an important security update rolling out this month now even above that as always if you didn't install this update 5032288 which was the november optional bug fix c release update for windows 11 which rolled out on the 4th 5th of december it was a little bit late last month and that's depending on your region that date. Um, this will include uh, the Patch Tuesday update rolling out now. will include all the improvements that were part of this update if you didn't install 5032288. Now, I posted a whole video on that optional bug fix update. So if you want more in-depth info, just go check that out. That will be down below. But just to do a quick recap uh, for the purpose of this uh, video, if you hadn't installed that update. We get five new features. Three of those new features are for Copilot, which brings centralized AI to the desktop. And we also get a couple of Explorer fixes, which is always a good thing. Um, file Explorer fixes for Windows 11. And just to mention a couple of these improvements, it adds the ability to use Copilot in Windows across multiple displays, which up until this stage was not the case. So you can now use Copilot for the desktop um, as an example if you're using a multi-monitor setup and you can also use Copilot in Windows with Alt and Tab now where previously that was also not the case if you use Alt and Tab on your keyboard you will see now that you can scroll through those thumbnails and you can select Copilot when it's open on your desktop and that will select Copilot which I actually think is a nice move so it uses um, Alt and Tab now if you are using Copilot on the Windows 11 desktop and you can also now use Copilot 10 times when you sign into Windows using a local account. So that's um, been bumped up to 10 times if you are using a local account. And then Windows Spotlight uh, is becoming set as the uh, default background. 
Now, this, I think, is progressively rolling out. So um, Microsoft did say with the optional bug fix that um, Spotlight is set as the default background on a controlled rollout. So you may see this option, you may not, but nonetheless, just making you aware of that. And it also starts the rollout of account-related notifications. And there was plenty more and a whole lot of bug fixes. But as mentioned, that's just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. And go check that other video out for KB5032288 because it will provide you with a little bit more info. And over and above that, guys, uh, that's what's new this month. With uh, the Patch Tuesday update, 5033375 for Windows 11 version 22H2 and version 23H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.